Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. Hope you had a fantastic weekend. <coughs> it was really, really hectic for me, but that's kind of the norm, and that's okay. Hey, but before we get into it, I want to remind everyone, uh, here we are <coughs> into March. I want to remind you of the brand new DVD series on Acts 1, 9 to 11. Uh, this is a 15-lesson DVD series, special study. It's unprecedented, unparalleled. I don't know of another thing like it out there anywhere. Pardon me. And, and the angels promise to the disciples that Jesus would come, quote, in like manner. This, is, this study goes into deep, deep detail not only right there in Acts chapter 1, but in the broader context of Jesus' discussion of eschatology. Uh, this material will absolutely blow you away. It will normally be uh, $44.95 plus $4.95 shipping. However, until the end of March of this year, 2015, very special introductory price of $35 post paid. I want to thank everyone who has ordered a set already. But look, if you want a set of this, you got to take advantage of this special offer that, you know, isn't going to be around all that much longer. Okay. So go to my website, send me an email. I'll send you payment uh, instructions or go to PayPal and send me $35 and say, Don, I want to order the Acts chapter one series. Again, take advantage of this very special limited time offer, introductory offer, on Acts 1 uh, DVD series. Okay. Well, uh, in, in the last segment, I shared with you the, uh, the perfect parallels between Matthew 24, 29 to 31, and 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. Jesus said he was coming on the clouds with the angels, with a shout, sound of a trumpet, in that generation, that's exactly what we find in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. Now, since the, uh, since the exact same words are used, since the exact same motifs and themes are used, and since the exact same temporal time statements are used, I would suggest that we are forced to see Matthew 24, 29 to 34, and 1 Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians 4, 13 to 18, as directly parallel, speaking of the same time and the same event. Well, for the amillennial and the postmillennial views, that means 1 Thessalonians 4 was fulfilled in AD 70, okay? Well, someone will object and say, no, 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 that can't be true because 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 is talking about resurrection, Matthew 24 is talking about Jesus coming in judgment of Old Covenant Israel. And it says, yes, he'll gather the elect. But 1 Thessalonians 4 is resurrection. Matthew 24 is judgment. Point number one, we should never dichotomize between Christ coming in judgment and Christ coming for salvation. That is a false dichotomy. Throughout the entirety of the Bible, while one verse may focus on the salvific aspect of the parousia, that does not exclude the judgment aspect of it. It is, therefore, a false hermeneutic to say, oh, well, yeah, Matthew 24 is judgment. First, Thess First Thessalonians chapter 4 is salvation, therefore they can't be the same. It's just simply a bad hermeneutic. Point number two, that objection fails to realize that Matthew 24 is resurrection. Notice that it says, He shall send forth his angels with the sound of the great trumpet, and they shall gather to gather the elect from the four winds. Now, folks, here's what, you, here's what we have to see. This is a direct echo, a direct allusion to Isaiah 27, 13. And here's something you need to see. Virtually all Jewish exegetes believed that Isaiah 27, 13 
was a resurrection. Well, it would take place in that day. And you, if you follow the in that day references from Isaiah 25 through 27, you re, you'll find out they all refer to the same eschatological event. And that's the day of the Lord, the judgment, and the resurrection. The in that day references of Isaiah 27 go back to the day in which the Lord would destroy Leviathan, i.e. the devil. That's the time of the resurrection of Revelation 20. It would be the day in which the Lord would come out of heaven and avenge the blood of the martyrs, Isaiah 26, 20, and 21. And it would be the day of the resurrection, Isaiah 26, 19. So here's what we have. Matthew 24, 29 to 34 is the time of the coming in which Christ would send out his angels at the sound of the great trumpet. But that's the time of the resurrection, Isaiah 26 and 27. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 is the coming of Christ at the sound of the great trumpet at the time of the resurrection, at the same time of the coming of the Lord of Matthew 24. You see, folks, there is no disparity between Matthew 24 and 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. They're both not only talking about the coming of the Lord. They both not only have the same time context. They both talk about the resurrection gathering. And that means 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 was fulfilled in A.D. 70. Hey, I cover that and a whole lot more in my book, We Shall Meet Him in the Air, The Wedding of the King of Kings. Go to my website, order the book, <clears throat> eschatology.org or bibleprophecy.com. Order the book, say that you offer, saw the offer on YouTube or Facebook, and I'll refund your shipping. Hey, I've got a question or two from some viewers that uh, I'll try to answer in the upcoming se uh, segments. You don't want to miss it. We'll see you on the flip side.